What's going on, people? Today is January the 18th. Is my last day in Tennessee. A lot of y'all do not know that, but I am heading to Florida in the morning to fish a couple tournaments. And today is a money spending day. We have to go get. We're searching for Blue Top Optima batteries. We need fluorocarbon line, braided line, and a trolling motor prop. So that's what we're on the hunt for today. Got to spend. The battery's gonna be pretty expensive, and we gotta get ready to go tomorrow for sure because money's on the line next week or so. So we can't have any kind of failures. Got to spare no expense when you're fishing for that much money every day. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to get everything ready, get everything loaded up, and we're heading out in the morning. Okay, so I've not been rolling the camera today hardly at all. I'm out of breath because I just towed all these batteries over here. But this is all the stuff I got today. Got some line, fluorocarbon, braid, more fluorocarbon. I had to go get one of these props. This is actually the cheapest one they make. I actually was going to order the glass filled one, but it wouldn't be here in time. So, got this prop for my trolling motor. I do not like that weedless one that comes on the motor guide. It just, uh, it's hard to make it not slap the top of the water. And it's, it has less torque. It's slower to get started. But it's supposed to be weedless. It is pretty good in weeds, actually. But, one thing, a guy from Headcase Bait sent me some baits. Look at these crawl. They actually look pretty dang good. And they are, got a ton of garlic in them. He sent me a one ounce chatterbait as well. Good. Swim baits right there probably will imitate a golden shiner pretty well down there in florida so that's one thing i'm gonna throw a lot down there is a swim bait that one's pretty dang good might be a little too much gold but it's pretty good for the most part so about to throw these batteries in here matter breath get everything ready to leave in the morning check it out got me four agm batteries in there never had agm batteries before hopefully they hold up i've had, I've had tons of battery problems in the past like so many tournaments where my trolling motor is dead at 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning like so many even 36 volts them lead batteries just don't hold up but these daggum little th marine tie down straps was difficult for me to figure out the right way to thread them to lock them down it took me a while i had it go i had it going through there backwards and i couldn't figure out how to make it work so i looked at watched a little tutorial as soon as i flipped it around it was super simple but it's very difficult if you don't have it facing the right direction but these right here should make it where i have no battery problems all year like I said in the past, I've had so many battery problems. Just, it's been a disaster. But now, we should be all set. Ladies and gentlemen, we are leaving Cleveland, Tennessee. Thank God. It is rainy and cold. I just had a blowout. Didn't even think to, I don't even think to film stuff like that. I just uh, smoked a curb leaving this morning and I blew out a tire on the trailer. It's just stupid. But uh, fixed it. Took me like 15 minutes. I fixed it pump tires up and everything and then we're about to make a long long ride all the way down to Florida hopefully it's gonna be a good trip we need to make some money we need to cash some checks so y'all stay tuned but it is raining like crazy and cold here in Cleveland Tennessee it's gonna get freezing cold tonight and I will not be here thank goodness for that way back in there but 
can't really see much action back there in that pocket, so I got out here in the main river where there's some wind and a little funnel. Doing a little trip. That's a cool fish for a tournament. I got this hat. This is a hat I have to wear to be eligible to weigh in. So you either have to have a bass logo on your jersey, a patch on your shirt, or wear a little bass hat to be eligible to weigh in. It's not the best rule in my opinion, but I have to wear this to be able to weigh my fish in. And today was day one of the tournament. It's supposed to be. It's canceled. You don't know that yet. But this video is going to come out before my practice videos, but day one was canceled. I'm doing this now because I realized I did not end this video. So, this is my worst video I've ever posted for sure. The wind noise when I got to Harris Chain was awful. Okay, it was terrible. So I tried to edit these videos and get the wind noise out of it and fix it, but I couldn't. Okay, I could kind of, but not enough to make it. And I don't know really what I'm doing. I don't spend <clears throat> any more time on it. I'm already spent on it. So I'm going to post a video regardless, but this is my worst video ever for sure. Harris Chain has not been kind to me, but... Thank you guys for watching. We're fishing the Bassmaster Eastern Open on Harris Chain. It'll be tomorrow. It'll be the 25th. It'll be day one now. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Like, comment, hit that sub button. This video sucks, but still sub because the next one's going to be better.